Hi, welcome to day 14. Uh, it's going to be good. So today I just want to continue our discussion about what concurrent mode enables for suspense. Now, yesterday we were able to um, enable concurrent mode by, oh, I'm in the wrong, wrong file here. Uh, we were able to enable concurrent mode by um, doing this. We changed our rendering to use create root and set up a root and then render our application to it. So that was what enabled that. Now our whole app is using concurrent mode. What we were able to do then is use this max duration, which as I said in default mode, whoops, um, in default mode just sets everything to zero. So everything is max duration zero. So you automatically see your loaders um, or fallbacks, sorry. Now with concurrent mode, we're able to set these two values that we want and really fine tune the user experience. So let's say 300 milliseconds is our threshold to where a user might not even realize that data should be loading yet. Um, that if we can get in under that, then we can, um, uh, we don't have to show a spinner, but if it takes any longer than that, then yeah, show the, show the loading state. Now, the thing with this now is we only have one suspense component. So we've wrapped all of our application into that suspense. Um, however, we we're actually fetching two endpoints. So we have the Pokemon detail and then also the, um, the Pokemon list. And um, if I change one of these, we could get into situations where that whole chunk of UI um, then has to, is subject to this one suspense component. So as it's fetching the, the, the Pokemon detail, um, it's going to pff, disappear and then pff, come back. Now that's not ideal since that list doesn't have to reload. It'd be nice to have that controlled in its own suspense component so that they are indifferent to one another. So um, I will at first, you've already been able to see this, this issue here play out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve that simply by um, wrapping, putting separating the suspense components. Um, okay, so that should do it. So now I have a suspense component around the Pokemon detail and a suspense component around the, um, the Pokemon list. So as I navigate through these, um, we see now the spinner for, or <laughs> the loading state just for the Pokemon. So as we do these, we get that. Okay, cool, that's exactly what we wanted. Now I'd like to see how that plays out when we have one request that's dramatically slower than the other. Um, so we'll do, we'll set these up. Um, again, I have this sleep promise package set up, which allows me to um, chain a then on and um, kind of sleep the resolution of this for a set period of milliseconds. Uh, I'm gonna set this one to seven, actually no. Um, I'll set this one to 1500 milliseconds and I'll set this one to the list to be 750. So the individual Pokemon should take twice as long as the, the list. Um, let's reload that and see how it goes. Okay, so it shows both loading and then the list resolves and then the Pokemon resolves. So then we can do that. It takes another 15 or 1500 milliseconds for each one of these, but we see that our list stays in place. Um, so yeah, so let's um, run that again. So you see both states, cool, perfect. Now this state is um, kind of no longer val valid. I don't wanna see that uh, list fallback anymore. I probably just wanna see like, um, let's see, finding your Pokemon or something, some other message, right? Um, the, it doesn't really matter, but now we can see that that message is a little bit more interesting. So yeah, that's uh, it for today. There's not really um, anything else to say, but that if you want to, um, you can separate out suspense and have really fine grained control over um, kind of what things load in tandem and what can load separately. Um, so now you can see this list can just stay there. We have that there all the time. Um, and then uh, it can persist while we um, kind of fetch that other data. Uh, and also you can see that anything that we um, have already clicked on. Uh, if we click on it again with React Cache, that's already cached for us. We get it immediately. We don't have to wait. Um, 
I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, because it's a Friday, this is going to be the last um, the last email of the week. So if you came here from an email, I'm going to do two more videos. Um, I think unless you have any questions, feel free to hit me up with some questions. But um, mostly I'm going to be styling um, the Pokemon element since I haven't done that yet. Um, I like to start introducing um, introducing some some more character to this app. Um, so if you want to follow along and watch how I bring in some more of that data, maybe style that a little bit. Um, you're more than welcome to. I'll be producing a video on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so I hope to see you then. Emails start up again on Monday. So um, subscribe if you like, um, join the email list, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow or Monday.